everyone and today we're gonna find out what exactly is in my purse and what's in my service dog purse. Um, I actually carry the service dog purse with me because my dog's very small and I have a lot of heavy things in here. Um, let's start with my purse because I don't even know what's in here. Um, this is actually a Prada purse that I got when I was a poor person living in a rich area. I had a, um, it's basically what would have been a beach sublet and I got it for about 30 bucks. So I'm walking around with this designer bag that lasts way longer than anything I've ever had. It's kind of falling apart actually from everyday wear, but I'm going to keep repairing it and hold on to it. So I've got icebreaker sours in the front page. Um, I really, really, really like icebreakers. Um, leftover lipstick, which seems to not make its way out of my bag half the time. Leftover lip gloss, that should also be put away. Um, this is a basically a brush on SPF brush that I probably never really used. It's a powder, so I can be able to powder my face. I have very oily skin. Yeah, I don't remember ever actually using this though. And a little Altoid can, which actually doesn't hold Altoids. So I'm going to open it up. And I have like little icebreaker mints. Oh, it's a little bit too bright to see. <laughs> so they're about this size. And I like it because it's small and it fits in a small pocket. Um, I used to have, um, let's see, a queen of everything a little mint. But it was just way too big for my purse. It took up so much space. And I have a lot of things in here. And a Walgreens card I didn't know that I got. Um, a lot of business cards, mostly from my psychiatrist. He gives me one every single time that I go there. Um, some cards from people from, you know, various activism places. I'm not even sure whose number this is. And pins for meetings. Oh, a receipt from my old psychiatrist. Um, I'm pretty sure my insurance won't. Oh, emergency mascara. Um, this is about the cheapest thing I got. It's years old. It's NYC brand. And mascara is probably one of the number one things that I can't leave the house without. You'll figure out maybe in a later video. But um, yeah, if I happen to forget it, it's important that I do take it, even if it's to work. Um... This is just like a double of a lipstick I got. Um, it's a matte dark red. I have two, so I always leave one in here just in case. Yay, the light went down a little bit. <laughs> um, a lot of pens. More pens than I thought that I had. Apparently I have four pens. But I don't remember putting half of these in here. Um, one of them has a tip that turns out to be great for, you know, using the phone. And um, if I have gloves on, which I might, it's helpful. Or if I'm like at an anime convention, which doesn't happen as much as you'd think. Um, it's hard to use my phone with a costume that has gloves on. A nail file, which I have long nails that break a lot. And, I don't know, like a bunch of like random papers that are receipts. I don't know what I was planning on doing with them. Fortune cookies, leftover raffle pieces. This really needs to be cleared out. Oh, this is uh, Lum. She usually hangs from my bag. I want to put it like a little bit closer to the camera without overlighting it. But Okay, so this is Lum from... My friend Glenn got this for me. It's so cute. So I always put on my bag, and because we both have green hair, um, hers is a lot more visible than mine right now. Um, it's pretty much my bag, and it's easy to find. I think I'm just going to throw everything back in here and not look through it. I've got, like, a lot of pen caps. I don't even know. Like, like a broken piece of earring. There's a lot of trash in here that I really don't feel like cleaning up, so I'm not going to... Like, maybe one day then I feel active. I consider this video self-care because I just really want to do it. It's like I have the energy, but super rare. I'm going to put all that back because I really don't want to clean this out. Not even the lipsticks. No, it's going back in there. 
It won't even close. <laughs> so, okay, the big pocket, I've got a wallet that I also got. Um, it actually is a real Fendi wallet. Um, I got that pretty cheap, probably about $32. Um, either $30 or $40. And it's also falling apart. The reason why it was given away is because the plastic came off, which is actually a manufacturing problem. Oh, wow. My IDs, credit cards, um, some spare money in case I ever get in trouble. And of course, like, um, emergency cards like um, what medications I'm on in case something happens to me. I always have to travel with insurance. And a three USB charger plug that I always carry. Uh, you'd be surprised how often this is actually needed. Normally I'd also have my phone in there, but I'm using it to record. Okay, so these are old playing cards I got from Vegas. I just love them because like, this guy's art is amusing but overpriced for someone like me. So we've got like little things like I love olives and there's like a dancing olive on there. It's adorable. And um, I like, it's obviously a little busted, but I like to be able to just whip out cards. Like I used to be a huge bar fly kind of, and I just sit there and play cards and like have like a drink at night uh, before I go to bed. And that full hour I would just play with solitaire or something. And of course keys and a lot of, I've been, really independent when it comes to supermarkets since uh, at least 16 so I've gathered pretty much every card in existence um, I never leave the house without a flat iron well as long as I have my purse this is a tiny flat iron um, I actually got it for free from Sally Beauty because I need their flat irons to go to a certain degree so I have to use professional ones and this is about how tiny it is. I'm not gonna unwrap it, it's plaid. It does go up to 450 degrees, just like a regular one. It's just, um, if I'm somewhere important, like, I like a lot of formal gatherings, so if I go out, I really wanna like go outdoors. Like, I wanna do all the stuff that, you know, I think that everyone else is doing outdoors, like fun dinners and stuff like that. So I'm gonna put that over here. Please don't knock down the camera. Oh, this is from Who Radio. Oh, that came out really clear on the camera. Um, I actually bought it, um, not just because I support it, but because it holds um, earplugs. So I put four, I have tons of them. And my ears can be really sensitive depending on what happens. And to avoid, you know, extra damage, uncomfortableness, possible triggeredness, I always carry a bunch of earplugs. Um, you should probably think of it too if you're one of those people who freak out when movies are too loud. And this is the most bootleg, oh my god, I don't even know how to get it to show up, but Ben Nye powder, and um, it costs like maybe 150 but I use it as like, um, like a powder, um, I use it like it's banana powder, but it's not banana powder, I don't even think it's the right shade, but it's portable to go, and sometimes I like to do the reverse ombre lips, and I could really use powder to keep it in place instead of it mixing. And this is a Pepto-Bismol that is full of all sorts of things like uh, Tums, Pepto-Bismol, of course, um, anything that's not prescription. Advil's I throw in there, like a huge mixture, because who knows what will go wrong with my body that day. And let's see, I've got a spare key to my boyfriend's car that doesn't exist anymore. This key does not go into anything. So I guess I'm, I'm just going to throw that back in too. I'm not going to take care of that today. All I wanted to do is make a video. So um, then I have a bunch of like tampons, stuff like that. Um, a miniature mirror that's in like a close to easy to get to pocket. Okay, it looks like a black rose. Pretty cool. And other than that, oh, I have some weird stuff, don't I? Um, I always have a wine corker because I love wine. Trust me, you'll, you're going to need someone like me around. I think it also opens up bottles of beer, but who would do that? Like if I am going to like be outside, um, I, I want my glass. <laughs> like you never know when it comes in handy. I think it's actually broken now. It gets slammed around a lot. Yeah, my purse gets slammed around a lot. So these are actually uh, broken little rat chopsticks 
and it's kind of like having a little lunch box with you. It has a knife and a fork and then chopsticks you can kind of like screw together. There's actually four so you can have two. I'm not going to put it together because that's way too much work. But yeah, I kind of am always ready to get some grub if needed. But um, when I'm outside, I don't think I've ever really needed too much of this. I probably use this more indoors in my own house than not, just out of laziness. I can't get it closed. It's because the camera is jinxed. Okay, so that's everything that's in my purse. And I'm just going to throw all this back in here. And that. And geez, it's all going to fit. I'm going to throw everything except for that piece of broken earring, which I don't even, I was kind of hoping I would find broken pieces of my purse in here, but I guess it's not in here. It's kind of like a Pandora box for some of the things like that. And we're looking for my service bag. Okay, so what's in here? I have a better idea of what's in here. Um, a portable cell phone charger. This can come in really handy if, you know, uh, in an emergency, if my phone is dead. It actually has two charges. Um, meds. I'm not really going to show you what my meds are. Um, An extra bowl for my dog in case she's thirsty, so I can just pour water in there. Um, so this is, there's a reason behind these Fiber One bars. Um, if I'm outdoors, there's a possibility that I'm a little bit less depressed, but I find that if I'm more active or feeling better, then different symptoms show up. Like um, temporary blindness will show up randomly at most likely when I think that I'm not stressed, whether or not I am. So if I feel okay, I go outside and I'm like, I haven't seen outdoors in forever. Everything's great and then I go blind and sometimes just stopping to pretend that I'm eating food will be long enough for me to just sit down and um, get my vision back. It usually doesn't last that long. So my dog will take me where I need to go, like out of the public eye, or she'll distract because she's better trained to distract, to take pressure off, and I'll just, you know, pull this out and eat it like nothing's wrong. And I won't be at the mercy of random people who know that I'm blind, which has happened. Uh, a very, very long phone charger. And, you know, little dog treats. She likes these especially. Um, I think it's because they're soft and chewy. And she doesn't really like anyone else giving her food. So that's pretty much everything that's in my bag. This is probably the most organized bag I've had in my life now that I think about it. Everything kind of fits. There's like extra room. Now that I put it back, it's actually more organized. It's pretty crazy. So um, I like to keep a lot of space. And with my bag, I like to um, take these two hooks and pin it to my belt loop so I carry it instead of her. I don't really feel extra weight. I'm sure she would. And um, it's kind of like, a, it's meant for the dog, but it's really my kind of constant vigilance uh, help. And the service dog tag actually comes off too. So if like for some reason, I'm not using her for that, um, it'll come off. The only reason I'd be outside without my dog is because I have someone with me who's trained to deal with all the sorts of crazy things, literally crazy things that might happen to me when outdoors. So um, there's a possibility that I might be with her and with that person, but I'm not really using her even though she can do the same exact stuff. So um, I don't know what's in your service dog bags and I don't know what's in your purses, but Feel free to respond with what's in yours. Um, if you like this, click subscribe down there. You know, subscribe to my YouTube. Um, check out Facebook and Twitter um, for little fun things like this. Uh, Facebook, I'll say, is a lot more political. Twitter is more of me complaining. And uh, But you'll have the best of both worlds on Facebook. You'll get... Um, little fun things like this and YouTube will probably be about half entertaining half you know political information and thank you for watching again uh, make sure you click the like button oh look and um, Artemis has made his way into the video
Now you have to like it for Artemis. You have to share it for Artemis. You know, I mean, if anything, like, I mean, he's, I mean, he's practically a guardian. So, you know, just go ahead and share that on your feed. All right, bye everyone.